We're inside InterNACHI's free online How to Perform Deck Inspections course under Location and Egress. We have an illustration here of a deck located above a septic tank access. Decks should not be located where they might obstruct access to a septic tank or underground fuel storage tank or a wellhead or a buried power line. This illustration here shows a deck obstructing a basement bedroom's emergency egress window path. The path of egress should not be obstructed by infill or lattice at the deck. Basements, habitable attics, and every sleeping room must have at least one operable emergency escape and rescue opening. Where basements contain one or more sleeping rooms, an emergency escape and rescue opening is required in each sleeping room. Emergency escape and rescue openings installed under decks, porches, and cantilevers must be fully openable and provide a path of at least 36 inches in height and 36 inches in width to a yard or court. Egress door. A deck at the required egress door, like the front door, must not be more than one and a half inches lower than the top of the threshold, and that's the, the front egress door. It's common for a deck to be attached to the rear of a house at a non-egress exterior door. And as long as the non-egress exterior door swings open to the inside, the deck outside of the door can be up to seven and three quarter inches below the top of the door threshold. Dropping the deck down a step from the exterior door works well because that provides space for a properly installed seal between the door and the exterior siding. And the drop down step also provides space above the ledger for flashing behind the siding. But dropping the deck down a step may make it difficult to securely line up the deck ledger with the house floor framing, band or rim joist, to create a secure lateral attachment.